Hello and welcome to part two of this Tyrephosloth-a-thon video series. Today we're going to be talking about this creature's back, which looks like some kind of forest got tilted. We've already built his head so far, we're moving on to the back. This part should be fairly easy, it doesn't really have any much many connection points except for this point which connects to the head. Everything else is pretty much on this part, where it connects to the tail and legs, but we'll be covering that in a different video, so you don't need to worry about that for now. So anyway, this piece should be fairly easy. Mostly it's just a bunch of tiles going across, and then slopes up to decoration on the top. So, let's get started. Okay, so this build's going to be a bit of a complicated one. I've actually pulled up my computer next to me, I've got a video of how I took it apart. So if I seem unsure of what I'm doing, that's why, because I actually don't know what I'm doing. Anyway, let's go through these pieces. So first off, two by fours, we've got four of these, one, two, we've got two here. These are each layered on top of with these little one by two angle pieces, which I'm leaving on there just because they're a pain to take off and put back on again eight times. Next we've got two two by threes, two two by sixes, and two two by twos. There's like a two by of any everything, two of everything. This is Noah's Ark. Next we've got one, one by six all alone because everything else seems to have a pair. Two one by fours, two one by twos, one one by four, again it's alone, so sad. We've got these two slope pieces, these are going to make its pretty much shoulders. It doesn't have much shoulder because it doesn't have much arm. We've got two 1x3 tiles, two 1x2 tiles, two weird corner pieces, two of these weird loopy pieces. You only use two on this model, you're going to be seeing a lot of these loopy pieces in the rest of the model, especially on the legs. Two of these clips. We've actually got four dots, and they go 2x2x2, two by two by two, not just 2x2. Two got two of these one by one tiles. Only one of this guy. We've got one leaf here, makes really good decoration on the back. It breaks up. We've got ten of these. And these are used for most of the grass, and this just helps break that up. Same color, different shape, and so that helps a lot. Next we've got thirteen of these guys. It's a lot of these. You're going to be using a ton of these in this model. Not a literal ton, just a large number of them. Next we've got a bunch of trees. Mostly these can be abstract. I'm using the grass pieces upside down, combined with several other pieces. These pieces are used to make a stem, which holds the tree up because the branches can't really touch the ground. No two things can exist in the same place at the same time. Next we've got a two by three. I forgot to mention that. Then we've got a bunch of these clip pieces. It's a bar piece like we used on the head video. A one by one clip and a one by one dot. These make the trunks of each of these trees. And then each of the trees can be customized, like these ones with the brown dot on the bottom that have an extra long trunk. And some of these trees are shorter, like this one, which only has two leaves and then three dots. Whereas this one has three leaves and then the equivalent of four dots, one dot and a brick. And this one's got four leaves and three dots. So yes, all the trees will should be different. If they aren't different, this isn't going to look right. Anyway, one side note, we've only got four trees here. There are five total on the Terrapislothum. The fifth is actually on the base of the tail, and we'll be covering that in a different video. Anyway, let's get building. Okay, so let's start with the simple part, the bottom. We're going to take our two 2x6 two tiles, place them over each other with just one stud overlap, not that much. And we're going to grab our four little side clip bars and put them each heading up towards the end of the tire sloth fin. This is going to be the head, neck end, and this is going to be the tail end with its legs coming off the side right there. So we put all four of those there. We want this ball and socket piece to go right there. This is what's going to connect to the head later. Now what we want to do is we want to take this and we're going to want to take this 2x4 piece put it right across there. And follow that with a, where would it be? A 1x2 piece. Which is right here. Put that right there. Off center, it's weird. But this is for the trees part. Next we want to do is we want to take these slope pieces, put one on each side, like so. Next what we're going to do is we're going to take these pieces, the ones I told you about, two by four with all of these slope pieces on it, put one right there, and one right on the opposite side. And now I'm going to end with the video and... Okay, so here we go, this is what we've got so far. Now what we want to do is we want to take 
these four pieces, and we want to do this twice. We want to take this elbow piece, this hook piece, this one by three, and this one by two with the little tongue off of it. And we're basically going to make it into something like this. We need to have mirror images of each other. So let's start by taking the one by three piece and our elbow piece. Put the elbow so it comes off to the side and faces back. Then let's take our little hooky piece, put our tongue off to the opposite side. We're going to do this for both sides, and this one needs to have a tile on it. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take and plug those in right back here. This one should meet with this piece, and this tile should not meet with anything because it's a tile. It doesn't exactly meet with stuff. Next what we want to do is we're going to take a 1 by 2 piece, put it right here. A little 1 by 1 dot. Put it right beneath that on one side. Now we want to take our 2 by 3, place it right there, so we've got a 1 by 1 gap there. And then we want to take our two, next 2 by 3, put it right there. So this is what we've got so far. I'm going to start working on this area down here, because yes, we have stuff that goes there. Let's start by taking a 1 by 4 tile and a 1 by 2 tile, put them the 1 by 2 right on the bottom in the middle of the 1 by 4. Now let's take each of our little 1 by 2 slopey pieces and put them heading off the back of this. Now let's put this here. This is going to be part of his neck. You don't really see it very often. It's kind of concealed by a lot of other stuff, but it does need to be this shape in order for it to look right. Next what we want to do is we want to take this 2 by 4 tile and two 1 by 4s for it. Put them each heading back. We're going to put that right there. So you should have tile, then two tiles coming off of it, then another tile, and two tiles coming off of it. Second one being twice as long in every way than the first. We're going to grab our little clips, put one right here, one right there. Like so. This slope we've got here is going to be used later. We're going to attach this thing in, and it's pretty much just going to sit in that slope. But we're not going to use that now. We'll be doing that, as I said, later. So, I'm going to cut the video right here, and we'll... Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to finish off the gray pieces of this. So grab all your gray pieces, except for the poles that are holding on your trunks. Those go in more random positions and we can't exactly place them yet. So I've got all my pieces right here. We're gonna start with these two one by one squares. Put one right here in that gap. Put one on the end of this, like that. We're gonna take this one by two piece, put it right there in between and on top of what we just did. So let's put that right there, this little dot, and we're going to take this 1x6 piece, it's just going to go all the way up there, it should stretch up to that hole. We're going to take dot, put one here, and put one there. Okay, now we can start the process of making this thing green. Let's start by taking two of these. You've got this side with this dot on it. Let's start by covering that with one green, like so. And we've got this side. Start by covering that with its own green. Like so. Okay, now let's start putting some vegetation on this. This is gonna be the really complicated part, so yeah, bear with me. So take a one by two tile. Mostly what we're gonna be doing right now is working with these one by two tiles. And so put one right there where it's one set away. We're gonna put another one directly beneath it. Let's see if I can grab this right. Like that. Put one on the top, centered between them. Like that, just a little lump there. Next what we've got is two tiles. We want to put these sideways right here and right here. A little fuzz on my finger. Next what we want to do is we're going to grab this 2x3 tile. We're going to put it right there as a um, support piece real quick. Next what we want to do is we want to grab each of our tree trunk pieces. These are the last of the gray pieces. Each one has a clip, a stud, and yeah. You'll notice I've got two of these using the new clip type where they've got an indent right here. Let me grab my brick separator. Point it out right there. There's an indent. That's those two, and two of them are older. They do not have this indent. You will need this indent for the one trees that are facing up like this in order for them to face up sharply enough. You can see they can reach different, slightly different angles when pushed to the maximum. The new one can point farther this way whereas the back one is, the older one, is restricted by this little thing there. So we've got two older ones, they're going to be used for pointing the uphill pointing trees, and these two new ones are going to be used for the downhill pointing trees. So let's start with those downhill pointing trees I was talking about, these two new clips. 
Just so you know, you can use the newer style clips for everything, but I don't have that many newer style clips. So we're gonna put one right there, so its clip part is above this flat plate, and that should hold nicely there. We've got another one up at the head here, going like that. Now for our other two, we've got this one over here going up, and we've got this one right here going up as well. So it should give you kind of nice zigzag of trees that look sporadically placed along the Terrapus Lothaman, but they're not actually that random. Okay, so next thing we want to do as I consult my instructions is grab some more of these 1x2 tiles. Oh joy! So next we want to put one right here. Just leaving a space here and a space here. Let's grab some of our grass pieces too while we're at it. And we're going to want to put a grass piece going up right here, matching this kind of slope. We're going to want to take a grass piece, let's hinge this back for a while. Put a grass piece right there, if we can convince it to go down. We can slope that back. Let's grab two grass pieces. Put them right next to one another up at the neck here. Let's grab another for this tail area, put it right there. And I believe we take another right here. Yep, that looks correct so far. Now let's take another 1x2, put it right there. Um, a couple more 1x2s, put one right here, halfway over the 2x3. Another one going upwards right there. Next we want to take our little elbow bracket piece, put it right here, like so. Then what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to take the rest of these pieces and eat them or something. No, don't eat them, that's a bad idea. We're going to want to put them, two of them on the base down here, mostly acting as filler blocks. Then one going across right here, and another one coming up. Now we've got two more of these grass pieces, and luckily I actually know where to put them this time. Let's put one right here, and one right here. There we go. And that is most of the vegetation for the back. Now all we've got left is this leaf piece, which I believe go, I believe it goes here. But really, anywhere along here works as long as it makes the back of the type of sloth and go look more green and natural without having as many of these slope pieces. I'm going to put it right there for me. Now we're going to take these four trees. I can't remember where I put these originally, but basically what you want to do is you just want to attach a tree to a trunk that makes it look good and also works for it. Like you see this one, its stems extend beneath it, so we need to find it a stump where its stems have enough room. And I think this top one might work, but I think this one might work better. No, actually that one works worse. Don't use that one. I'm gonna put that one right there for now. It'll sit there. Let's put our cone friend right here. And then this tall one will look nice right there. This short one would look nice right here. So, special thing to notice about these grass pieces is if I can get one off. They've got each got three stems. One long, one medium, and one short. So in the type of this elephant, you most often want to have a long one going back until you reach the top leaves. Because when the long one goes back, it will meet better with this downhill slope. So then what we need to do is we need to angle all these trees to be in the same position, otherwise the forest will look really weird like this, it looks right. Now the last and most satisfying step is grab our headpiece. We're just going to go clip. Now we've got most of our terrible sloth event. Actually not most of it, there's quite a few pieces left. Hello everybody, thank you for watching this video. This is not the end, that's not one full terrible sloth event, that's like less than half of a terrible sloth event. Though I will say, this back is the hardest part, we've just gotten over the hump. Now we're on to the second hardest part. This piece this is gonna be its like sides. It connects to the legs and the tail. It's got a bunch of really weird things on it. Also, this piece technically connects to it, but we're not gonna put it on until it's combined here. Anyway, so I will see you in the next video for the construction of this thing.